What's good guys, this is Ball One, where I talk about nothing but football, let's go Alright, so, Wonder Kids, Wonder Kids These guys come through the academy, the likes of Wayne Rooney, the likes of Ronaldo, the likes of Messi And then they make it to the first team and the wonderful stuff they were doing in the academy They continue on to the first team and become one of the greatest players in their generation However, there's another side of the scale where players don't manage to do the same they start the same in the academy but in the first team it just doesn't work out for one reason or the other injuries girlfriends the other kind of lifestyle the teammates just so many factors number one on this list is hakim mustor oh my goodness unless you were living under a rock in 2012 to 2016 you would have saw this kid's video on youtube some of the stuff he was doing to other players in the academy deserved jail time straight jail time and i thought wow this guy is gonna be a mainstay in ac milan and in football for years to come unfortunately all of those wonderful skills and stuff he was doing in the academy he could not replicate when his first team opportunity came along and ended up just going on loans and now he is playing in morocco back in his home country at the age of 25 trying to revive his career but what could have been with this kid honestly man but sometimes the pressures and everything it doesn't make it easy to actually produce what you do just because we see people do things season after season after season it looks easy like that but it's really not that easy there's so many things that go into play number two is jack rodwell oh my god jack rodwell this guy in the academy of everton 14 years old a man mountain about six foot six foot one he was already playing in the under 18s at 14 almost literally unstoppable in the midfield and everton promoted him to the first team at 16 made his debut in europe and we thought that was it this guy is gonna run the show for years to come and then by the age of 21 he got his big move to man city the early stages of man city with the money but it's still man city at this time you know what i mean and it just didn't seem to work out the big injury monster came out and said what's up my man and injury hit him hard and with injuries here it's just not about the physical the biggest part of injury recovery is the mental is the mental and at such a high level sport like football and with the competition he has at man city with the likes of david silva luke de jong and um, what do you call it Sorry, Nigel De Jong and then James Milner. James Milner will not let you take his position just like that. Are you stupid? It's James Milner. He's an absolute animal. And unfortunately, football is not as forgiving. He ended up falling down the pecking order, eventually going to Sunderland where he did okay until he eventually became just a squad number, staying there and just collecting money after the relegation. He didn't even want to leave. He just stayed and eventually he's now in Australia where he's basically let's face it he's on a holiday in australia because he's already moved teams again he's just chilling with his family and his wife listen he just doesn't care anymore and that's just the sad reality of it you know what i mean sometimes if you don't care you just don't put your best into it and then the third guy alexander pato alexander pato oh my goodness see this guy skill pace finishing oh finishing this guy had finishing for days so broke onto the scene in international back in brazil and after just one season ac milan were like yo get over here get over here now and he said yes he went to ac milan started off really really well at ac milan and then unfortunately guess what came next injuries injuries was like what's up my man injuries took this guy took him different levels and unfortunately AC Milan kept on persisting with him, but a high level sports, it's a business at the end of the day. Sentiment has to leave eventually. And after a while, AC Milan could no longer persist with him. And then he had to leave. He bounced around Europe for a bit, went to America, Brazil, went to China. Of course, all that Chinese money, like I'm not going to blame you. Like that Chinese money is easy money. And then eventually he's now back in um, Brazil playing for Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, by no stretch of the imagination, is a bad team. It's a very good team, especially in South America. But it's nowhere near where he could have been. Because with his potential, if he had reached even just 80% of it, he would have been at Real Madrid right now, banging goal after goal after goal. 
guys thank you so much for all the support this youtube thing is not easy but it's made a lot easier with all your support and love on the road to 400 subscribers hit the button right here get me to 400 and be a legend today peace